Hello, I'm Oliver. Here we got this dumper truck, the chassis and the bucket from Leisu. It is 8th driven with differential lock and the mid transfer case lock and the cabin from Eveco. So we will start the basic operation and see the radio settings. Let's go to first the radio function assign, you will see. So steering channel 1, J1, that's the controlling steering. Channel 2, J2, that's the pump for bucket. Lift up. Let's go all the way to the top. Slow down, stop, and second time you push it down, it will start to go downside. Okay, channel 3, through to, that's for driving, going forward and backward. So this one has two speed gearbox, and uh, channel 4, lamp, channel 4 I setting for the light. Turn a little, you will see. Okay, all the light is on. Also, rear side have the red light and the backward light and the brake light, the turning light. Okay, so that's the, that's the LED light. And the channel 5 is the gearbox. Channel 5 set up with SWE controlling this switch, SWE. So SWE, now it is at low speed, neutral position. High speed, let's try. Now neutral position. High, low speed position. Okay, change it to high speed position. Okay, not fully running small table, just to show you. Okay, that's the gearbox. And uh, channel six, that is SWA, the differential lock, this is for the axle differential lock. So for axle, one servo controlling, and let's see it. Now it is unlocked. So rear side, only one side turning. If I lock it, we'll go, wheels turning together. It's going. So it's driving, turning together. And now you will see have another lock, middle transfer case lock. Now it is unlocked, so front to axle and the rear to axle can be output separately. So let's see, now only front to axle turning. Also can only turn in rear to axle. But after you lock, the middle transfer case lock, all four axles have to turn together. It's driving, going, yeah. So now all four axles turning together, and the uh, axle differential lock, now it is not locked. Now lock the axle lock, you will see, it's all wheels will be turning together. Okay, that's the setting. Uh, channel 6, the axle lock. Channel 7, the middle transfer case lock. So channel 8. Channel 8, SWG, that's the sound system. <coughs> Driver. That's the engine sound. Okay, that's channel 8. Switch it off. That's all the settings. So only totally 8 channels for this controlling. Let's go to display servos. So here you can see which channel is moving, how much showing by the bar. Okay, that's the display servo. And for the reverse, which if you want to reverse it, like uh, if you make mistakes, it's not turning right or up and down, you don't like the direction, you can reverse it. Choose the channel and reverse it. End points, this one is must be setting for the speed gearbox and for the uh, turning. Let's see, channel one steering, now it's setting around 80, 
78, 79 is no big difference. So that's the setting. So if you turn it too much, maybe touching the suspension bar or the servo reach dead end, it's not good, maybe burn the servo. That's channel one's theory. And uh, for channel two, the pump, half 50%, it is already enough for this low uh, lift up and lower it. 50%, if you want more speed, you can increase a little bit, like 60, 70, but not too high, maybe burst out the hose. And when you drive in, lift up also, be careful, before reach the end, slow it. And if you reach the end, stop. Because this one will have a uh, safety valve. When you're going down, same. So that's the setting for hydraulic pump. The gearbox, channel five gearbox, it is only 35% already all engaged. So high speed engaged less than like, like 25 already engaged, but 35 totally engaged. Not if only 20%, maybe the gear only biting a little, maybe broken somewhere if, if you're running long time. But if you adjusting too high, like 60, 70%, the servo reached dead points and stuck there, servo could be burned. So when you're adjusting these numbers, you have to check on the servos, is it turning, is it reached dead points or not. 35 enough for this one. And the channel seven, it is the, it is, yeah, it is the middle transfer case lock. 61, 80, 72, 78, it is exact, not exactly need to be this number. It depends on the angle of the servo and the wire's tension. You have to adjust to check on the servos by it. So, go back. Okay, that's all for the endpoint setting. Sub trim, sub trim, no difference. So on all, almost all 0% only this steering, if you find it is not in the middle, you can adjust a little bit by this sub trim. This one will have mixed control and the pump is uh, two way running, going one, one direction or you're going inside, lift up another direction, suction oil out, lower it. So no mixed control, that's all the setting for the radio. Okay, thank you very much. This is the Lesu chassis, eight driven and the Evico cabin, customized by us. Thank you very much. We will see each other again. Bye bye.